But what is up, everyone? I'm going to be showing you one of the most broken junglers on the new patch, Jin Zhao. And Jin Zhao has been excelling in this new environment of solo queue where the jungle speed for slower junglers have been increased. And also, most importantly, the addition of Titanic Hydra has been huge for the Jin Zhao character. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you our, our builds and how it influences and makes him so strong. Titanic did get Hoffix nerfed. But I still think on the right champion, it is still OP. For other items, Wit's End is what really synergizes super well with the Jin Zhao. So if you're ever against an AP jungle or team relatively high in magic damage, or not even that high, you always want to go Wit's End second. And if you're not, you're going to go Spear of Sojin. So that's like core items. Here you start red is just generally good. You can go for a level 3 gank or just play for the full clear. What I like to do is just to start red. Do my Krug's Raptors and then just think about how I want to play the map. We're against a Volley Bear, so he's relatively easy for me to, you know, kind of like outpace. But here we're going to start W level 2 for the AoE damage and clear speed increase. <coughs> and like I said, we we don't really want a level 2 gank. We, we can level 3 gank if it's looking good. But uh, generally when I level 2, when I level 3 gank, I really think about how it's going to affect me if, if I lose like possible of my other jungle. This game is looking like it might be a bot level 3 gank. So I want you guys to pay attention closely about how we decide on whether we should be ganking bot level 3. Which is I what I call is a reverse gank because we're reversing our path where we are starting. And this is a reverse gank angle. You see how the wave is frozen like that? Perfect level 3 reverse gank angle for Xin Zhao. These guys are 100% dead. There's two desperate to get this wave into even ward. And now they're just in a dire situation where they're in just too much danger. So here we're going to start with W. She flashes in. No summoners. They're all dead. We're going to get... We really want to get the kill on this one. We're going to have to flash to guarantee it. And, you know, situations after reversing like that. We get a kill base and go straight to the top side. And this is a perfect timer. This is a perfect situation. They were 100% dead. I W there and it was going to hit, but the Ash flashes in. It's fine if they flash in like that. They're just 100% dead. I personally, when I get an early base like this, I personally prefer just get a D Blade. I think D Blade's fine to buy still. It gives you a bit of early game power. I don't think it's that. I think on some champs, it's not as good. It does give you life still instead of Omni Vamp now. But I just like it if I do a quick early base because I'm not really going to have enough to get too many good items. Here, team mat is really good. And also, when I get the D-Blade Blight, it helps me fight for my top side, which generally you end up having to do anyways because they know about your, your pathing and stuff like that. So here, I want the Crab and Volley's here. So we're going to start with our W and we're going to Q right after. Remember, we have the buy advantage, right? So it's very hard for us to loot, especially with lethal tempo. <clears throat> Maybe Volley Bear was very close to beating us, but that's the D-Blade buy advantage. <laughs> Here, we're going to wait it out because he has Empowered Q coming. It's starting to look like a bloodbath. He misses his Q, so we can actually go in here. We're going to knock him up there. Misses W, but we can walk back in now. And yeah, no, Lethal Temple is a stat checking god to your rune. This champion just stat checks everyone. You actually just absolutely decimate. And in general, combing is what I want to remember is, you know, always E dash into an auto attack. And then use your Q as it auto attack resets. That's like an important thing when you play Zen Zhao. So I always auto Q, right? That's simple. It's like playing a lot of champions I talk about. Utilize the auto attack reset. And your W is like a two part component that you generally have to really think about when you play it. It's just the first part is the slash in front of you. It doesn't really matter. The second part's what's important. Here, if I want to start the grubs, I can, right? Because we just killed Bully. You want to stack them up just like I did right there. And we start just lining up. Who does grubs really well? Jin Zhao. And why does he do it so well? Because he has AoE, sustain, and just really strong early game damage. So champs that can just do the grubs super quickly and efficiently like Jin Zhao are really good in this meta. People think grubs are worthless. Don't understand how globally they affect the game. And they just infinitely scale. Plus, as a jungler, just free golden experience. And they don't honestly don't take that long. But I don't really want to die. Like, I wouldn't give my shutdown away for the grubs. Like, if I saw people trying to contest me and fight me for it yeah i'd probably give it up 
that situation where the dominant jungler so we're gonna take it so here i cleared this i didn't do my wolves because it's time to go back bot side bot side usually spices it up i personally think Zin Zhao is really good at ganking bot so you want to focus on ganking bot when you play Zin Zhao. you have a lot of easy ways to get on bot lane mid lane is really not as easy comparative top is extremely hard to gank so i was just focused bot side when it plays in and that should be your mindset once you get the team out though your clear just dramatically increases and remember your w if you hit it extends your e range that's the, like the little indicator you see is the e range increase so it just gives you much higher range on your abilities so here we should actually be able you know they should be fine on that wave i don't like doing dragons till the se second set of void grubs i think dragon takes long but i don't mind fighting for a dragon so here we're going to start W into a T-Mat combo into knock up. Waiting for the next combo. Lethal Temple is just stat checking. We're going to have to fight our way out of this problem. Ooh, very close. If I wasn't taking Dragon, I would have had that. You know, it was just a bit of a team gap there. Not much you can do. Enemy team rotates. They, they want to take out the most skilled player. It's a very obvious tactic by the enemy team. Take out the main character. But it's okay. We were able to... You don't do the much of that. A lot of times when you're in a situation with lethal tempo and champion like Jin Zhao, it's like when I talk about Bri you just have to fight your way out of your problems. Like if you're in a bad situation, sometimes you just have to straight up try to outplay, fight it, outstat them with your possible better item buy than it is to just try to like run away. And also you can't really run away from like these specific range champions. So here I'm six, uh, crabs up, Vlad's pushing mid wave pretty crazy. So I'm going to look to cash mid wave. And I'm also going to grab crap. So here I want the cannon. And I'm going to just get the wave. Team out. Very good for this. I'll leave Casio one, you know, just keep the tip also because I want to do this. So here, usually I just want to get the Q off for the extra damage. If you can e at, if you can W at the beginning of your comboing, it's really good. But sometimes you have to W at the later parts. For the range and the gap close but here if i wanted to gap close easy i would just you know q knock him up and then w when he's knocked up that's like the safe way so you can't really miss any abilities but there is possibility that they could flash your w right and your q is just good for lowering the cooldown on w so if you use it earlier you would have possible second w so here i'm just going to ward the crux to see volley bear clear possibility see what volley bears up to I really don't want my lanes to get out of too much control. I think this guy's pool is probably down, so I might W flash him here. Okay, we got him anyways. I'm going to R away. This is a situation where I'm going to have to go on Twitch if I can. Lethal tempo. Okay, not bad. Now, I don't think I'm going to die again. Now, I'm just like, okay. They had their fun trying to kill me while I was just building my power. <laughs> now we're unkillable. This is where you get so strong that it's kind of disgusting how strong you are. This is where I decide on what boots and items I want to buy. So ideally, I want this item very broken if I want MR. We're going to be going into Wits End. So here I'm going to buy a dagger and a null magic. And this is going to maximize my damage. We're going to play for the void angle. And when you're playing Val with Jin Zhao, it's important to be farming. Like, you see my CS, I've just been impacting the map extremely well, but also farming extremely well. And with this new Titanic, with being able to buy Tiamat, your champion is just really easily able to farm. Now, personally, I think Void Grubs are huge for the game. They make it really easy for you to carry as a jungler. Because it allows you to take towers extremely fast. I always pull them out a bit to see how they stack like that. Very good. <clears throat> and, with the and with the Titanic, what it does, it gives you an auto attack reset. So it lets you stack your, your knockup faster, which is really good for his gen. So we always want to use it in our comboing. So I'll show you guys when we get onto the jungle cam, how we're going to utilize it. Here, we're going to finish it off in a second. Boom. And that's just really good for us. Here, we can check if I want to kill that guy. Not really. It's really bad to do something aggressive right now because we want to kind of farm. So here, we, how is we going to do the combo? If we hit our W, auto Q into a T a Titanic. And that's the knockoff right there. Here, this guy's messing with the wrong man. 
I'm gonna get my thing first. I'm gonna R. Okay, maybe there's a bit too many. Okay, maybe there was a bit too many there. Listen, I, I was gonna... I was okay with Kled. And honest to God, I was okay with... Volibear. But you cannot throw Vladimir on me too with Storm Surge. Like, get the... Actually, this is Volibear with Storm Surge. That, that's a bit too much right there, man. I, I'm, I'm one amazing guy who has six Void Grubs. Like, I can't handle... A goddamn battalion, okay? Like, that was a bit too much. Give me my wit's end, and then I can do it. But seriously, wit's end will literally let me... Like, this this item against MR is just broken. My focus right now is to just go back to farming. I think topside, my, my soul laners are really gonna hurt me in this game. So, I'm just gonna avoid them for a bit. So, we're gonna play bot side. We're gonna try to go on her if she walks up. She might walk into the river after pushing a bit. She might base, which is fine. I can flip your crab here. You see that like, comboing really fast knockups. Auto attack reset with Titanic. Here we're gonna look for wards. Just because we we wanna know if they can track us. Possible twitch tracking. Easy kill, right? Easy. Do it all day. Do it all day. So here I want to play for tower. This is a perfect spot to do what we do best is to just set up the bot lane and break towers i want to break towers i don't want to deal with any more randomness i just want to break towers and that's what we're gonna do this is how you get break towers you set up picks be unexpected take them out take them out where they live and now we just control this area this area was dangerous they kept setting up plays there so we just come completely left that area this guy doesn't know who he's fighting with you want to go bro don't don't run away from your problems Yeah, yeah. Welcome. I got boys behind me. And a girl. I I don't play that way. They need to learn. They stole my blue too. I mean, that's what rats do, but... You know, it'll never work again, they say. It really never works again. <laughs> it actually almost did work again, but... I mean, we should do dragon and I have wit's end. I mean, this, is, this is your goal to play for these items. You get your wit's end, you're for boots. I was gonna go tabbies or merc Those are like your general important boots. I was just kind of waiting for itemization a bit more. So here, looking at their comp, it's honestly probably a merc angle. Just because they have a lot of CC, Volibear will CC me a lot. But it really is up to me what I want to build. So here I'm like God tier. So you're going to see how much faster we attack now, right? Like, look at this attack speed. Anna applies magic damage on him. Xin Zhao, his entire kit revolves around just purely auto attacking people to death and out stat checking anyone in melee range. So here we're just going to out stack anyone who wants to fight us, right? We have a lot of MR, right? So we have to fight our way out of this one. Remember, we said we have to fight our way out of the problems we we encounter in life. You have to fight. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Just like that, embody your empowered, your fighting spirit, your warrior spirit. Here, I got this. I'm a bit low. That's AP Volibear and ain't nothing to mess with. But Zhao is uh, overly broken. I, I, I would be surprised if he doesn't get nerfed at all. I should always smite. You should always. <clears throat> you shouldn't miss your smite like that was my bad. My, bad. my smites have been off this game. But this, this champion is absolutely filthy. It's just very good. Very good champion. But yeah, this item gives you tenacity, the on-hit effect, plus just MR in general. Very good. And here, we'll probably go into Spear. We'll see what items we want. Warhammers. Actually, I think I'm going to go Tabby's this game, actually. Tabby's, Tabby's looking really good. Tabby's for the damage that I'm not going to be able to reduce with Wit's End. 
Plus, Clyde is going to auto me a lot. Actual auto a lot. Which will auto a lot. And general items. I, I think the Sunder Sky is just a very nice and good item. DD is still good. I think I find DD very good as well. Stacking HP. Always a good... Oh, stacking HP is always a good strategy as well. No way this guy's diving. You can kill MF, but I'm, I'm not the same kind of person. I'm not one you can just simply kill, Clad. You get that. You get the hell out of here. Here, at this point, I'm just going to keep pushing waves in. Like, I'm trying to carry this game. You just have to push, push, push if you want to carry. It's extremely important to play like that. And very farm oriented. Like, this champion can inst instant just destroy waves in an instant. So, you always want to play to one shot them. And here, I'll show you guys how how herald actually works it's kind of weird now so if you drop herald and you're facing this direction the herald's gonna go into that direction so if you face herald you have to drop it in the direction you're going it doesn't matter which way you click on it you just have to make sure you point herald that way and when you click on it keep it pointed that way and then it'll always go in that direction we got a runner here always hit the tower though because the tower spawns the baby voids so you can actually take the tower if you don't tick click the tower Okay, we're in a situation here. All right, that arrow is a bit, a bit much there. Sorry, I want a spear sojourn. Sunder Sky is good too. I, I should have went on the Twitch though. No, no point to go on the volley. Oh, now I kind of wish I did have Merc Treads there. <laughs> now I kind of, now kind of re regret the Tabby's boots decision. Maybe not the wisest, but it, it does happen. I think the Tabby's will be better for later. Plus, a lot of items give you tenacity now. Sterics also gives you tenacity now. If you end up wanting Sterics. Eclipse, not that bad, but... Personally, I, I, I don't really... I think... It's kind of like whatever. I think Spear is really good. Because your ability damage, you can stack it really fast with your abilities, right? It's a very extremely good item on Zen Zhao, is what I, I know. So you see you're sacking the Spear of Sojourn. It stacks passively while you're jungling too, which is a really cool interaction. Which just amplifies your ability damage. And you're just a very heavy... You know, your, your ability... I personally just think Jin is very ability heavy. So you really need ability haze. Like, you're, ne you're never going to carry a Zhen Zhao without ability haze. So you need, like, two ability haze items. You want to have, like, no downtime on your spells, which eventually... It actually becomes zero downtime. Here, if you're ever out of range of your dash, if you hit W, you get the extended dash. So that's always good. Here, they might mess around. This guy's trolling, right? So we can just go on him. Let it. Let them go on really at first would be ideal. You can always stack up your pass, your Q, on the monster right there, and then go. You can always stack up your Q again like that. If you want to do W flash, you can W flash. It gives you extended dash range. I could keep going. I'm just kind of testing the waters a bit. But it looks like you ran. So if you ever hit something max range, it gives you vision. So if, not, if you don't hit something, it doesn't show. So there's no wolves there. Your passive is... What, well, the healing that you're noticing that's really crazy is actually my passive. And it's just very... Zen Zhao just has insane passive healing. Here, if I wanted to hit someone, I'd probably hit W. Remember the Void Grabs? This is like the insurance we ended up investing in. You see how I always stack up my passive before? And then I sort of go in afterwards. That's just a goal for you. Just Q's passive and then go in when knock up ready. And I, they're going to have to send like the... The United Nations to help them get out of this pickle. Here I just want to take it slow. Knock this guy up. Or the volley damage. Go on the Vlad. And, you know, I'm, I'm a bit, 
I'm not I'm not at that level yet. We can just decimate them completely, but we're getting there. We're, we're absolutely getting there. So after a death like that, let's just re evaluate what took us, like what dealt so much damage to us. And it's looking like we might want to invest into some more items. So here we decide on what we exactly need. Honestly, I don't think Trinity is bad at all. I think Trinity is actually pretty good now after all the changes. So I'd rate Trinity as like a decent item. Honestly, probably better than Black Cleaver is the Trinity Force. As long as you auto and like you have short cooldowns. So I'm not I'm not bad on him. DD's still, I would say DD's quite good. Sunder Sky, very you know, it has some power to it as well. This game we're just gonna go into Triforce. I just want to maximize my damage. And we'll probably get like our last items, like maybe a DD. Here we can always dash early and then hit the W slow. You can always stack on different things, speeds you up. Here we're getting the movement speed. He might W away, but we can still chase for a bit. Don't remember, we can always use the wave, right? We're extremely fast champion. We gotta get that knock up on him. I'm committed to my cause. Oh my god, I almost got him. Oh, that was a goddamn chase if I'm if I've seen one before. That was a goddamn chase. But I do need DD. DD is gonna help me. I need more armor. For good MR items too, I, personally for jungle, I, I think Force of Nature is, like if I was against a lot of magic damage, Force of Nature is giga broken. And this, this item is for jungle, is so broken. It gives you so much MR and the amount of stacks you get. It's just insane. Just like, you just can't begin to believe like how broken it is. This item gives you at full stacks, a like 120 magic resist. 125, that, that's insane to me. Plus 15% movement speed. I might end up getting it on myself some items if I need to, but this is a really like how I feel like it's a really good build. But the most important thing is just your core items. Like Witsend is very core. Titanic is a core. Uh, a spear feels very much like a core. As long as you get these items, the rest the rest is just really flexible with what's going on in your game. Here we're gonna get the dragon and we're gonna look to flank on the ash. We're gonna Q always to keep the move speed going. Here if you hit these plants, they actually give you movement speed. Here we're gonna save our Q into the dash. W slow. Remember if it hits, it slows. Here, cute thing to keep my sacks going and knock up into W, knock up. Very perfectly done. But you see, I mean, you could literally build like anything on this champion right now afterwards. And this champion just out stack checks you. Very insane. Other items I would have considered is, you know, Sunder Sky as well. Here, remember, we Q stack one, two, and then like that. Remember, that's a good combo. It surprises people. They don't. They aren't completely ready for that, and you just get them really quickly. We can always draw them out here. Very close to the... Very close for us to just completely decimate. If we actually had DD there, we would have... We would have decimated them. This is why this champion is so broken. This is why this champion is probably going to be pick, pick and banned at like every game in competitive. He's just so, uh, so disgusting with these items. He's happy. The mythic system has been a cripple for him. He's just now able to excel like he's never been able to it before. And as long as you build simple items like this, as long as you're getting tanky and being like a bruiser, you're, 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 you're just going to be in a really good position. 
But yeah, these are really, really, really good. He's really fun too, once you get the hang of him. But just really get your early game down. If you want to dominate like this, be sure to work on your early game and just understand what you're trying to accomplish in the early game phase. Here, I'm just going to close the game out. So I'm just going to do the clamps that are closest in my direction. While I'm not really missing out on much as we're preparing to end. So I do all these. This is like in the flow of my direction as I'm going. And now I see them kind of sieging. So I'm going to blue orb. And now I'm going to look to fight here. I want to get on the squishies first if I can. That's always my goal, right? But if they're too far, I go on the melee. And I can always W after. And that just gives me my engage to go on after. And the game's over now. But yeah, be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my videos if you want to learn more. Eat a dash to get the slow off. And yeah, be sure to like, subscribe. I'll be doing daily videos on all these new junglers and on how to play them and how to climb. I've already got pretty high LP already. And oh yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck in your games. And I'll... Yeah, good luck. Good luck on the climb.